The Disrespect for Marriage Act passes with GOP cosign. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Churches are threatened nationwide. Are you retarded? It's not a rhetorical question. Are you retarded? Dementia's right at a sign. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Groomers are cheering. <laughs> Name face. Pathetic. He ain't lying. I'm Jazz Bergonzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Bro Gonzo here. Another episode for you. Of course, this is What's Next, your daily. The Marriage or Respect for Marriage Act, or as everyone's calling it, the Disrespect for Marriage Act. I haven't done a video of this. Um, it passed through the Senate, through the House. Of course, you had a number of GOP cowards sign on to this. Why are they cowards? Well, it turns out that this Respect for Marriage Act is a total disrespect for churches, for people of faith, for those who believe that marriage is only between one man and one woman. What do we know about it? Well, here's some of the highlights. And then, and then, Dementia Joe is getting ready to sign this thing, and of course, he's got some friends tagging along. This comes out of the Washington Times. Defeat the Disrespect for Marriage Act. Radical bill goes far beyond codifying same-sex unions. Now, this was as of August, but you'll pretty much get the gist. Many of the same liberals who continue to complain about the Supreme Court's June 24th decision overturning Roe, citing 49 years of precedent, hypocritically had no similar qualms in 2015 when a bare majority of justices took it upon themselves to overturn 2,500 years or more of precedent in regards to Obergefell versus Hodges. That was a ruling that threw out traditional definition of marriage, yes, one man, one woman, which was until but all universal recognized by, uh, by judicial fiat, the five legalized same-sex marriage nationwide. Now those same libertarian liberals who celebrate the upending of two and a half millennia precedent what constitutes a marriage on a phony, ginned up panic, yes, a false narrative that the meager seven years of Obergefell precedent might turn into, uh, might be tossed out by a court with three new conservative justices seated since them. Enter the misnamed and misleading Respect for Marriage Act, which passed by the House on July 19th a vote of 267 to 157 with 47 weak-kneed, cowardly GOP Republicans, quote-unquote rhinos, voting for a bill that was rammed through the House Democratic leadership without any hearings or public input. Just as an aside note, that not a single House Democrat voted against it, so much for so-called blue dog moderate Democrats. Shame on those 47 Republican lawmakers who provided the Democrats with bipartisan cover smoke for this legislative Trojan horse clearly without reading it. Representative Jody Heiss, a Georgia Republican, one of the 157 who rightly voted against the bill, tweeted, Today I vote no on H.R. 8404. The Disrespect for Marriage Act is a slap in the face of our Federalist system that is the latest effort to impose leftist agenda on the entire country. That's why it's imperative for the Senate Republicans to filibuster, which of course they didn't because it turned out 12 weak-kneed GOP rhinos, including one Joni Erst, voted for it. Contrary to the deliberate dishonest claims of its proponents, go far beyond merely codifying Obergefell into federal law. The Respect for Marriage Act would formally repeal the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act, which recognized marriage as a legal union between one man and one woman, husband and wife. The bipartisan DOMA law, which overwhelmingly passed the House 342 to 67 and the Senate 85 to 14 was signed into law by Democratic President Bill Clinton was effectively invalidated by Obergefell but remains on the books. <clears throat> However, the current bill goes far beyond that as the leaders of the 83 national, uh, national and state conservative groups warned in July open letter to uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch Turkey Nick McConnell, Kentucky Republican. For example, H.R. 8404 will require federal recognition of any one state's definition of marriage without any parameters whatsoever. This would include plural marriages, time-bound marriages, open marriages, marriages involving a minor or relative, platonic, or any new definition of a state chooses to adopt, including animals. I'm sure that was 
thrown in there eventually, including through undemocratic imposition by a state Supreme Court. Such recognition impacts a myriad of federal, law, federal laws, policies regarding marriage, its benefits, rights of parents and children. But the bad stuff doesn't stop there. The letter writes, uh, letter writers warned. The bill effectively deputizes left-wing activist groups to sue religious individuals, organizations, businesses that operate according to the sincerely held religious beliefs that marriage is between one man and one woman and also act under color of state law. The latter would place the legal jeopardy faith-based foster care providers involved in child placement services and, re and religious social service organizations and other private charities that receive government funding to serve their communities. Disturbingly, there are indicators that would be 10 or more Sen uh, Senate Republicans, of course, as I just mentioned, 12 signed on to this ridiculous act, of course, endangering religious faith-based communities nationwide. Let me go from that to this. Now we fast forward. Dementia is about to sign his thing in the law, and of course, he's brought friends. Biden invites drag queen who performs for children to attend Respect for Marriage Act signing. President Joe Dementia invited a drag queen who performs in front of kids, yes, groomer, to the White House on Tuesday to witness the signing of the Disrespect for Marriage Act, which enshrines same-sex marriage, codifying it into law. And I pray to God that there are states who have the balls enough to step up and sue the shit out of this law because it is total garbage. Drag queen activist Marty Cummings celebrated uh, to the invite on Twitter. And though he keeps his account private, the libs of TikTok, of course, got to it and good for them. Quote, to be a non-binary drag artist invited to the White House, something I never imagined would happen. Thank you, President Joe Dementia, for inviting me to this historic... Oh, did I forget Dr. Jill Biden, who's not really a doctor. Historical bill signing. Grateful. Doesn't begin to express the emotions I feel. Cummings tweeted while sharing a screenshot of the White House invite. Nice. Some more clarification, according to the libs of TikTok. The event at the White House is tomorrow, but was publicized by the drag queen today. My thoughts. The fact of the matter is, is that once again, this country's going to hell. This country's going to hell on a handbasket. Seriously, off the cliff, no brakes. Name it off the rails. You name the adverb. The fact of the matter is, is that this disrespect for marriage act, and it is, it is a total slap in the face of traditional marriage. Because the Democrats were so scared to death after Roe got burned that they felt that marriage, gay marriage, and I put that in quotes because it's fake marriage, it's faux marriage. Now, for those who are watching this who feel offended because, you know, and getting all pearl clutched, oh well, it is what it is. But you had Justice Clarence Thomas who mentioned that Oberfell needed to be looked at among other decisions that were hastily made by the Supreme Court. And rightly so. The fact of the matter is, as I just read, this was rammed through the, uh, not the Oberfeld decision, because the Oberfeld decision was done merely by a 5-4 decision. And of course, that's, this was pre-Trump, that no one had a chance to debate about it. You didn't have parents step up as they have been at school meetings and say, I've got a problem with this. Here's why. ABC. No, no, no. We can't have that because of, of course, democracy. But the fact of the matter is, is that for Joe Dementia to be signing this atrocity on this day, slapping the face of what marriage truly is, as God ordained it, but even, well, not even worse, this is as bad to threaten each and every single organization of faith-based of religious based who's to say johnny's church reverend john down the street is saying you know what marriage is between one man and one woman who's to say that that church isn't being looked at to say hey once this signed i can sue that church for hurting my feelings oh it's coming sadly and pathetically it's coming now, with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. And I said earlier that I hope states fight against this, that those states who actually respect marriage step up and say, this, I'm suing the feds because this will not pass in my state. I really hope there are states like that. Um, 
subscribe it to it, share it, like it. And um, we'll see you next time. Peace.